I put some new contacts in, I spiked up my eyebrows, and I have tinsel in my hair. Let me know if you remember when I had silver hair and I had these little tinsely bits. I thought, why not? If I can't put tinsel in my own hair during lockdown, when can I? So in today's video, we are gonna be doing a full face and testing video of Technic, which I am so stoked for. So I have pretty much a full face. I've probably forgotten something, I usually do. But yeah, I have a whole load of very affordable, very fancy looking, like Technic have up their game. I'm like looking through everything like, ooh. I have a lot of stuff to try out. If you don't know about Technic, it's basically a super affordable brand that is available in Wilco. You can also get a load of stuff online. Everything is cruelty free. Some of the stuff that they do is vegan as well. And it's just real cheap. And a lot of it is so good. Like the stuff that I've tried out from Technic is so damn good. So I am stoked for this. So enough of me talking for now anyway, because I always feel uncomfortable when I leave my intros too long. Let's put some makeup on. I just had a bag of skips. Probably got like prawns in my teeth or something. Uh, yeah, prawn. Oh yeah. Okay, so for primer, I have this guy here. This is called the Vitamin C Brightening Primer. Looks very similar to the Ulla Henriksen one. The bane of my life is just like squeezing these tubes on camera and just waiting for something to happen. Oh, it smells good. It smells like oranges. So it's just kind of like a cream sort of color. Oh, it smells so good. Should probably be talking about all the benefits of like vitamin C on my skin, but no, just the smell. Just smells good. Ding. So now for foundation, I have their foundation stick. So I think these might be a little bit too dark for me. This one here is in the shade porcelain. I mean, I don't know how pale this is, but I'm pretty fair at the moment. That might actually kind of work. I also have ivory, which, oh, maybe, I don't know. Ivory looks a little bit too cool tone. Maybe I'll just, I might just probably mix, I don't know. I have this one too, beige. Usually I'm a beige. I'm a beige kind of girl. That looks a little bit too orange. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use porcelain around the majority of my face and then use a little bit of the beige one just to kind of like balance it out a bit. So I'm gonna start just by putting that on my jawline. My cheeks. Oh, it's quite creamy actually. Now that I've warmed it up a bit. Yeah. And down my nose, which for some reason has now gone quite red. And then I'll take some of the beige color and go underneath with that and just mix it a little bit. Okay, let's see what this does. Okay, it's blending out nicely. I do also have a cream bronzer to try it in a minute, so I'm not too bothered if I do look like a ghost for a few seconds. When I said ghost then, all I could think about was just the chaos that ensued when Ollie and I was playing Among Us with you guys. Because if you don't know, I'm now streaming on Twitch quite regularly, might I add. So yeah, if you guys wanna play like Among Us with me and stuff, um, I do it quite often, so head on over. Follow, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do. We can play all the games. Okay. I look nuts right now. That has given me probably medium coverage. It blends out nicely. It's hard to tell how it's gonna look on my skin once it's powdered down. But right now, doesn't seem to be cakey or creasy or anything. It looks quite oily and dewy on the skin, which I personally prefer with foundations because I like to then mattify them down with a powder. But yeah, so far, no problem. So now for concealer. I'm hoping this will cover up enough. This is the Under Eye Brightener. Again, it's part of the vitamin C range. I did bring another concealer from Technic just in case this one doesn't give me the coverage that I need. It's not even a one anymore, it's a need at this point. So it's just a little twisty tube with a little brush on the end. We're gonna do that thing again, aren't we? Where we just wait for a while. Just waiting for it to squirt me in the face. That's what she said. There we go, okay. I don't know if this necessarily has like a shade on it or anything. Either way, it's going on my face. I mean, it looks like it's got some kind of coverage. Looks like something. I mean, it may well be better for me to use this on top of a concealer perhaps, but I don't know. That's what these videos are for. I know as much as you. Hold on. This doesn't even have that much coverage. It's kind of like a light to medium, but the way this is actually making the light reflect off my face is fully getting rid of my under eye circles. My like, what the hell? What the hell? That's actually good. I really wasn't expecting to like that that much because that's not normally my kind of product, but that has fully canceled out my under eye circles. All right, so I just put a tiny little bit of concealer just over a couple of few spots. So now, ooh, we have this, which I am so curious about because this looks like it's gonna be a potential dupe of the, what is it? Chanel Tan de Soleil, Soleil, something French. Either way, the Chanel Cream Bronzer. I've tried it out before. It was many, many years ago. I tried it out one of my friends and it is good stuff, but it's also a lot more expensive than this. But yeah, this is the Technic Bronzing Base Cream Bronzer. Okay, 
Looks like that. Nice little color. So I'm gonna take this little brush here and just pick some of that product up. Ooh, smells good. Smells like sweets. And I'm gonna warm up my face with that. I only took a tiny amount because I don't know how pigmented it's gonna be. It's a nice color. It's obviously like a warm color, but it's not too in your face and orange. There's no skipping. It doesn't look like a weird kind of thick cream consistency, like a cream concealer or anything. This stuff, Unless something goes horribly wrong with it halfway through the video, this stuff I really, really like. I don't even like cream bronzers. I like to just skip that step entirely and just go in with a powder bronzer because I feel like it's a lot easier. Why do I talk when I go down my neck? Because then I just sound like a robot. Anyway, yeah, I, I personally don't even really like cream bronzers, but this I'm really, really into to the point where I'm just like, I might start using this regularly. Like, you know, it's a good product when I don't really use it in my general routine anyway and I want to use it in my general routine. So yeah, good job with that one, Technic. That actually looks banging. Did I mention it smells good? It smells so good. Sniff, you want, go on then. Don't get too close, I've probably got cat hair in it. Nice, right? <laughs> I won't eat that one. Next, we'll move on to powder. So again, this is part of the vitamin C range. I wonder if this smells of oranges. If it does, I might, what should I do if it does? If it smells of oranges, I will lick that cream bronzer. I don't know why I feel like I need to do these things. Like, I don't need to say that. No one's gonna be annoyed at me if I don't go and eat a cream bronzer. But let's see. Doesn't smell of oranges, don't have to eat the cream bronzer. Thank God. So I'm just gonna make sure any creasing has gone from under my eyes. I like the little sieve thing that it's got. It's got one of these little like bouncy nets. So I'm just gonna go ahead and powder this down. Starting with my under eyes like I always do. I always get questions about why I start with my under eyes first. Honestly, it's just because my under eyes crease a lot. So if I just start there, then it gives them less chance to crease up. That ain't half bad at all. Okay. So the concealer that I used was the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. The way that this is sitting on my face, like everywhere that I didn't put that concealer, it actually looks pretty good. Like around here, where I put the concealer, it doesn't look as good. It doesn't look that bad but the powder doesn't look as good with this concealer. Seems to be looking good pretty much everywhere else though. It was just kind of around my nose that was a bit iffy. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I used a whole lot of products that I don't normally like to use, like a cream contour thingy and a concealer with not really that much coverage, but something that just has loads of like light reflecting properties and I'm into that base. I have a really, really itchy set of eyelashes and I'm just like, why are you doing that? Do you guys ever think about the amount of bugs on, on your eyelashes, sorry? like the amount of bugs on your eyelashes and stuff. And like when they itch, I'm like, are they having a party? Are they biting me? Like what's happening? So yeah, whatever you guys are doing on my eyelashes there, can you not? So now hopefully the product that's gonna make me look a little bit less dead is this guy here, which is the Sensational Face Palette. It basically has, I can't get into it. There we go. <gasps> wait, wait. I thought this had a highlighter in it for some reason. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. And the only other highlighter I have is a body highlighter. Maybe I'll have to use milk and cookies. Have you heard of it? Great highlighter, one of the best actually. Use code Steph Thomas, 20% off. Sorry, kind of had to really. But yeah, this is a palette. You have three different shades of bronzer, all seem to be matte, and then three different blushes as well, which are also matte. So I think I might, I don't know actually. Um, this one looks a little bit too, or maybe it is a highlighter. What are you? It's a very subtle highlighter. So let's go in with this shade here. They've got little pineapples on them. I was kind of hoping it would smell of pineapple, but it doesn't. Yeah, I'm gonna take the medium shade and it's probably gonna be too warm to contour with. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of bronzing on there. Yeah, it's a bit too warm. So I'm gonna take a slightly larger, fluffier brush. I put way too much on my cheeks then. Is this just a blush palette? I'm thinking to myself, is this a blush palette? Okay, no, it says two bronzers, three blushes, one highlighter. So that thing is a highlighter. But yeah, this is just quite like a peachy, orangey bronzer, but it's not too pigmented, so it doesn't look too nuts. You're all asking me to put more blusher on and stuff at the moment. So you know what, maybe I'll, wait me up, but maybe I will, okay? I will, I'll do it. This one, cause yeah, build that a little bit up on my cheeks as well. Here I am, like I've got too much color on my face, so I add more. I'll also do, a tiny bit on my nose. Just trying to do looks at the moment that are just a bit different and not just like standard smoky eye because I swear that was all I did throughout 2020. I mean, I'm surprised I even made it out of 2020 half the time, but um, yeah, I want to just do something a little bit more different. Even if I hate it, we're just putting blush all over my face. Okay, so then I guess I'm going to try out this highlighter, but I'm really, I don't know how sheeny shiny this is going to necessarily look on my face. Let's see. Okay, there's something. 
it's not, it's too subtle for me personally, but it actually looks more intense on your face than it does in the swatch. However, I cannot, I can't show this and just be casual about it. Hi, this is my highlighter. I've just come out with Ofra. You might have heard of it. It's pretty great. But yeah, I'm gonna use this instead because I, I, I don't even need an excuse. This is my highlighter. I wanna put it on my face. But if, yeah, like, I don't know why I feel like I can't even really talk about it or promote it. If you guys did want to check it out, I do have a discount code. It is like a commission-based code, so feel free to use it, feel free to not use it, whatever you want to do. Um, other people also have codes as well, but if you did want to save 20% off on the Ofra website, um, I have an itchy nose, then yeah, you can just use my code STEFTOMS and it'll give you 20% off. But yeah, the delivery is actually pretty damn quick considering it's from America, it's like I said, it's like four to five days. And yeah, no reports of any customs charges as of yet. Just thought I'd let you know. I'm glowy as hell right now, and I think it looks pretty good. It's because this guy's pretty good. Okay, I'll stop doing the whole like QVC thing now. Oh, it looks pretty nice though, right? Looks pretty freaking nice. So then, like I said, I also have this, the Body Glimmer Face and Body Illuminator. Probably should have tried this earlier on, but I got a bit too excited. I obviously don't have like my shoulders or anything out right now, but I can whack one out for you. You're welcome. And let's just see what this looks like. Oh, again, smells good. Oh, that's quite pretty. Let me get it with a brush. Let's try that down my arm a little bit. That is nice. That looks, I mean, looking at the packaging now, kind of looks like it would be maybe a bit of a dupe for the, oh God, what's it called? The Huda Beauty liquid highlighter that's like, it's called like Nymph or something. I actually really want to try that stuff, but that has just given my, I'll show you my other arm here, like just standard sort of light reflection. This one just looks a little bit more glossy and glowy. And actually, doesn't look like anything on the skin either. I feel like I look like I've got like a muscle vest on right now. This is how I'm gonna be for the rest of the video. But yeah, it doesn't look like anything on my skin either. Doesn't look glittery or shimmery. It just looks a little more sheeny shiny. Nice. What the hell? He's so weird. Why is he doing this to us? So now for brows, I have a little brow pomade. It's called the, oh. Brow Pomade and Powder Duo. I did not read this. I thought it was just a brow pomade. So this one is in the shade Medium. Ooh, I'm into that. That is some good design there. So we've got the powder on top, which looks like a nice neutral shade, and then the pomade on the bottom there. I'm into that. Okay, so I'm gonna take my angle brush and go in with this pomade. Ooh, it's quite like a waxy one, which I actually kind of like. So I'm just lightly filling in a few little gaps, pulling my brow out to the side there. It's quite subtle, but I mean, especially for my brows right now, I kind of like it. And then using the same brush, I'm gonna go in with the powder. That's the sort of shade we're dealing with with the powder. And because I have like soapiness to my brows, they're looking a little bit ashy from my foundation and stuff. So I'm just gonna run that over the top of them. Yes, you see this? Yeah, yes. Okay, that was an unnecessary noise that I made there, but I quite like this. It's not the most intense pomade I've ever tried. Like it's not super, super, super pigmented. Yeah, I think this is a good product. It's not the most pigmented brow pomade ever, but I also feel like it doesn't, like a pomade doesn't need to be super pigmented. It should probably be a bit more natural, especially when you're filling in something as delicate as your brows. These are my delicate eyebrows. Very delicate, very subtle. Dude, they look huge, I love it. You know what I'm currently realizing is that I don't have any lip products to try out from Technic. I don't think anyway. I can have a look in a second to see if I do, but I don't think I actually do. Oh well, I'll figure it out. So next to my eyes, I'm gonna go in with this eye base. It's called the Technic Eye Canvas. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming it's kind of like a P. Louise sort of situation. So it's just this little squeezy tube. So it says in the color light, so you obviously have like a bunch of different colors for different skin tones. That is super light, okay. I'm going to press that over my lid just the same kind of way that I would with the P. Louise base. I just like to apply it with a sponge. Probably could have done with a color slightly darker, but it's cool. All blanked out there. Um, so far, this is actually yeah, just reminding me of the P. Louise base. I'd say this is a little bit more matte. The P. Louise base obviously goes quite tacky, but yeah. So far, it's kind of giving me the same sort of vibes. So for my eyes, I have this big old palette here. It's called the Ibiza Pressed Pigment Palette. And as you can see, there's just a, there we go, ton of different colors. I've tried Technic eyeshadows before, and a lot of the time, they're really, really good, especially like the recent ones over the past few years. But like, look, there's like so many different blues, so many different greens. This yellow's, ooh, 
If this yellow's pigmented, I'm gonna do a full yellow eye look because I've wanted to do one for a while now. Let's see. I mean, I used the tiniest amount there. Yes, I've decided I wanna do loads of yellow because if I don't do it now, then when will I do it, you know? Live, laugh, love. Don't give up your daydream. It's gin o'clock. Just live, laugh, love, really. So I am literally just taking a ton of the yellow shade on a flat brush and I'm just gonna press it on there. Ooh! You see that on the macro, yeah? That is exactly what I wanted. <gasps> I'm not even mad that I basically went back on everything I said about doing, like trying out loads of the colors in this palette and I just decided to just use one color. I'm not even, I don't care. This is exactly what I've been wanting. Oh. And obviously I'm gonna probably try and take an extra over the top photo for this. Mm. So I've just pressed it on my lid and now I'm just using the same brush. I'm slightly blurring it out on the edge. So I've got everything obviously on my actual lid and then I'm kind of just blurring the edges a little bit in my crease. By the way, this eye base seems to be pretty good. I mean, you can see it's obviously intensified the color a lot. I mean, if I just take some of that and tap it on, you can see it's pigmented, but it's not like this kind of pigmented. So I definitely think the base has helped. But um, yeah, kind of a sort of sorry, not sorry moment for the fact that I chose a super colorful palette and I'm just basically using one shade, but I think that looks sick. Like sometimes you don't need to blend like 12 colors together to make it look good. Sometimes you just need one color all over the lid and it just bangs. So now I'm gonna take my teeny tiny little fan brush and I'm just looking at a couple of the shimmery shades here. Okay, that one looks nice. I'm gonna go in with this shade here. I love this little fan brush because it just gets right on my brow bone. Nice. Not too intense. I kind of like too intense, but it's just quite a nice sort of subtle sheen there. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that just with this pencil brush and just make that pop on my inner corner a tiny bit. I'd also love to do just a really, really plain eye look just with like yellow on the inner corner. I want more intensity. I'm going in with milk again. Look, look, milk is just the boy. It's just, it's just too good. Now I'm gonna go in with this mascara. It's called the Epic Lash Waterproof Mascara. Whoa, interesting wand. Okay, look at that. A little ball on the end. Okay, let's see what you got. Oh, it's grabbing at my lashes, which is a good first sign. Like it almost feels like my lashes are getting tangled in it, but then obviously you brush them out. That's like a requirement for mascaras with me. Every mascara that I like is the kind of mascara that just pulls on my lashes almost a bit because it kind of gets like tangled up. And then when you drag it, or when you blink, then you kind of see the results. Anyone else feel that way or am I just like, is that just something I've over explained for no reason? I mean, this mascara is definitely doing something. You can see it in the macro there. I don't know if the wand's necessarily my favorite just cause I've, I'm quite happy with just like a standard. If this wand was just this bit, like the long bit, then I don't feel like, I don't know. It's not difficult to use at all, but I do just find that the balls just keep getting in the way. You know, that, that old story. Like you can see it's done something there. That's good enough for me. So like I was saying, I don't have any new lip products to try from Technic, but I do have this, which I featured in a recent video that I never actually used properly. But it is the KVD lipstick in the shade Marigold. I might not wear this throughout the day, but the picture that I wanna take, I kinda wanna do like a matchy matchy situation. So I'm gonna try this. Woo. Kind of look like I've got jaundice a little bit, but kind of like it. All right, so as always, I'm gonna go off camera, do the other eye. I'm also gonna pop on these lashes. So these here are the Faux Silk 3D lashes. They're just very kind of like fluttery, sort of natural looking. They look really, really nice. I don't even know what style I have them in. Oh, salsa. Olé. Yeah, these look, okay, I need to give you like a proper close up. These look really, really nice. They've got like a lot of texture to them as well. So yes, I'm gonna do that. I might change my mind and change my lipstick. I'm not 100% sure yet, but either way, I'm gonna do something to my face now and just at least even it up a little bit and then I will check back with you guys for the final look. Why do I always have my hands like this? Um, all right guys, so this is the finished look so far. Obviously I'm gonna be doing like a check in and everything in a second. All I do with my lips, I took my brow pencil, it was just, where is it? It was just my benefit one, the precise of my brow. I literally just went over the top of my lipstick and just kind of kept a little bit in the middle. And I got this like poop shade and I like it. But yeah, also added a couple of little freckles, uh, put some mascara on my lower lashes, added my lashes. Yeah, 
I think that's all I really changed. But yeah, it's currently just gone one in the afternoon. I'm gonna wear this for a while. I might take off the lip, because I mean, like, it's not a Technic lip anyway, so if I come back with a different lipstick, it's just because I've been taking pictures and stuff, or I might have no lipstick on. Who knows? In terms of how everything is looking right now, it all looks pretty good in all honesty. I mean, there's a couple of spots I can see here that maybe I should have had a little bit more coverage to, but I'm not really too bothered by it. There's a tiny bit of creasing around my smile lines, which like I've said loads of times before, it's very normal with me in foundation, like I have smile lines, I'm quite a smiley person. So yeah, that's just quite normal for me, kind of happens with like pretty much every single foundation. But yeah, I'm just gonna do my thing, uh, take a few pictures, they'll be on Instagram. In fact, screw it, let's do a giveaway. Um, check out my Instagram, follow me, it's like here, maybe there. Yeah, um, so if you want to enter my giveaway, check out my Instagram, I'll also leave a link to it down below. Look out for this makeup look, it should be my most recent post on my grid, um, and there'll be a giveaway. Why not? But yeah, I'm now going to go and do all of that, um, and I'll see you guys in a few hours. Oh, I took out my contacts as well. They were annoying me. Anyway. Alright guys, it is now a little while later, what time- where is my phone? It is now 20 past 8 in the evening, so it's been around about 7 or so hours. Clock me watching Joe Rogan. I'm obviously looking a little bit worse for wear, like, I was gonna say my lipstick's rubbed off, my eyebrow pencil's mostly rubbed off, but you guys need to start using eyebrow pencil as lip liner, because this stuff stays on. Let's have a look. I mean, small lines a little bit more, couple more spots poking out, looking a little bit more dewy, um, like, a little bit of foundation on my nose, I started to kind of break up a tiny bit. And there's a little bit of fading like around my nose, just kind of like where I've had my headphones on. A couple of little spots on my face where I've basically scratched my face and now there's literally just like scratches in my face. But otherwise, it's all looking pretty good. My hair, however, is a different story. But yeah, all I'm really noticing is just like a little bit of wear and tear that kind of happens throughout the day. And obviously like I didn't really use a setting spray. The foundation at the start was quite oily and dewy anyway. Um, so it's just kind of gotten a bit more of everything. It's not that bad. I feel like if I maybe just did a couple of touch-ups or even just left it for like a few more hours, I feel like it doesn't actually really look that bad at all, especially in person without like these lights and everything. It doesn't look overly sweaty or anything in person. I realized that it maybe does look a bit more glowy on camera. But yeah, in person it just looks glowy. Like yeah, it actually looks pretty good in person. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, but I'm gonna take it off now. I'm gonna do a face mask and probably squeeze my face, which I shouldn't do, but I'm gonna do anyway. Let me know what you think of this makeup look, let me know how you thought it wore. If there's anything you guys want me to test out from Technic, let me know, because like I know they have a ton of products, so very keen to do that. And as always, like any other brand you want me to try out, especially affordable ones, I love trying out like super cheap stuff, um, then let me know, happy to do it. As long as it doesn't burn my face off, but even then I'm still kind of happy to do it. Just content really, isn't it? If you like this video, if you like me, or if you just didn't hate this video or don't hate me, then um, please... I was just gonna say, please consider subscribing. This is why I don't do a different outro to normal because I just, I can't speak. But yeah, if you like it, like it. If you wanna see more of me, then please consider subscribing. I upload every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And yeah, but apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mm, 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 mm. Do you like my socks? They say fuck it. I still might do a video with my feet, by the way. I'm just like getting you ready for it. You, wait, I need to, I need to stretch if I'm gonna do that video. Will I be able to do it? Like, surely not. I might. I'm gonna put this down now. Okay, bye.